everyone i think most of us have got this update that ifmr is launching its new ipm program this year and in this video we are going to see if ifmr is worth applying or not so without any further ado let's begin so the overview of ifmr so it refers to the institute for financial management and research gsb which is graduate school of business it is situated in sri city andhra pradesh and affiliated to kriya university which is a private university known for its financial specialization so the course details of ifmr is that this year when they are beginning with their new ipm program they are only uh, providing 60 seats to the students uh, so there will be only 60 seats available this year uh and the exit options so here they are providing three exit options first is three years uh so if you uh, drop out after third year uh, you will get a bba degree after fourth year you will get a bba honors degree and after five years obviously you will get a bba plus an mba degree here they are provi providing a sabbatical option after the third year and fourth year so if you want to take a break for your work experience and entrepreneurship you can take that break you can avail an sabbatical after the third and fourth year so uh, here there is an advantage of placement assistance after the third and fourth year and unlike other iims who only provide you placement assistance in fifth year um, here they are providing you placement assistance they will help you with the placements even after third and fourth year so the selection criteria of ifmr is that you will first have an exam followed by a virtual interview round so the exam will be a kriya aptitude test of 75 minutes which will include logical reasoning numerical reasoning verbal ability and critical analysis and the essay writing the sample test link of this exam uh, of this aptitude test is attached in the description box you can refer to that the fees and placements as we might have noticed that uh, the fees of ifmr is very high as you can see in the first 3 years you have to pay 5 lakh per annum and 2 lakhs uh, per annum for your hostel fees and uh, in last 2 years you have to pay 7.28 lakh per annum 2 lakh rupees for your hostel fees so the total uh, fees here comes as 40 lakh rupees and if you compare your fees uh, with the placement the average placement you might not be very happy about it so uh, this year the placement report of ifmr uh, says that 86% of the students have been placed uh with an average package of 13 lakh per annum and uh the remaining 14% might not get the same package so here we have estimated the average placement of 12.5 lakh per annum is ifmr worth applying it's a decent college but the fees is extremely high in the first 3 years only you have to pay 21 lakh rupees and the cat cut off they are providing they they are even giving you admission uh even after 75 percentile so uh it's also harder to get an education loan since it's not a very known university where a, a very famous university so it's very hard to get an education loan also so you can consider it as an option uh, or as a super backup only you are, only if you are financially affluent otherwise you must not go for it and uh, you mu you must uh, go for other options so this was all i hope all your doubts were cleared about ifmr uh, i hope you liked the video if you liked it please like share and subscribe our youtube channel asipm and stay tuned with us for our next video